Hi scientists! Today we are going to be learning all about constellations. Constellations are groups of stars that we can see in the night sky and they make up a particular pattern. Now these stars can be hundreds if not thousands of light years apart, really, 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 really far away, but to us on Earth they look like they form a pattern. One of the most popular constellations that we can see from the northern hemisphere is the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper and those are known as Ursa Major and Ursa Minor because they're part of a larger constellation that make up a bear. That's what Ursa means, it's bear. So we are going to make our own little constellations today out of pipe cleaner, straws, pony beads, and you're gonna need some scissors. And then we're ready to go. So the supplies that we are going to need to have to make our little model of a constellation is first a constellation that you're gonna to wanna to use. There are lots of constellations out there. These are some of the most popular and most common ones. Little Dipper, Big Dipper, Cassiopeia, Canis Major, Andromeda, and Orion. Today, I am gonna make Cassiopeia. This is her throne. Cassiopeia is a queen. Um, some people also say it is her crown. If you kind of turn it sideways, you can see the crown, but it's also her throne. So I'm gonna make Cassiopeia today. You will need a straw and some beads, just like these, and a pipe cleaner. So what you're gonna wanna do is pick out as many beads as your constellation has stars. So I have one, two, three, four, five stars, and I picked out five of my favorite colored beads. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is you are going to want to cut out in the straw the space in between your stars. So I've already done that here, but it's pretty simple. If we just measure and cut right like that, and then we can go, sometimes they go flying. All right, next, we are gonna go ahead and start stringing on our stars. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this bead on, and then I'm gonna loop the pipe cleaner back around so that my bead doesn't fall off the end and the rest of my beads and straws don't fall off the end. And that's gonna be my first star right there. Okay, next I'm going to string on a straw piece as my spacer in between my stars. And then another star and that is the bottom part of our throne here. And now I have my constellation. It's not quite right though. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this extra pipe cleaner and I'm going to just cut off, leaving a little bit of a tail because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend over that last star and kind of stuff the end of my pipe cleaner down into that straw spacer. That way there's no pokey edges, and that way my beads and straws aren't gonna slide off either. Last thing we're gonna need to do is fold our pipe cleaner and beads and straws into the correct shape of our constellation. So it goes straight up, a little bit of a curve, and then straight back up again, and there, is my constellation. So now that we have made our constellation, your challenge is go see if you can find it in the night sky. Is it a constellation that we can see right now in the northern hemisphere? Or are we gonna have to wait until the earth travels a bit? Maybe we'll have to wait until summer to see it so that our horizon and our night sky lines up with the stars of your constellation. If you want to learn more about stars and constellations and all sorts of fun things space related, check out NASA's website at www.nasa.gov or Space Place is a really, really fun resource where there's all sorts of really cool games and facts and all sorts of neat things about space. And until next time, stay curious.